Don't admit to be buried alive in this life. Do not admit to be buried alive. Your, your gift doesn't have to be buried alive. Do not admit, do not agree to be buried alive. When they say that you are going to die, they are using the mouth. You have also to use the mouth because you have got the mouth. And there is power in the tongue. So don't admit to be buried alive. Um, John 11 verse 11, Jesus said that I have to go and wake Lazarus up because he's asleep. His disciple could not understand that he, he meant that Lazarus was dead. On 32, the Bible says that um, they told him that Jesus, if you, you were only here, your friend Lazarus couldn't have died. He's dead. He died because you are not available. So wherever Jesus is not available, something has to die. Wherever Jesus is not available, your business can die. Your things can be stuck. Then Jesus wept, wept on verse 35. Then he said, take me to the grave. On 42, he said that Lazarus come back to life. Uh, Lazarus come back to life. Jesus could not admit that Lazarus should be buried alive. Anyone who is closer to Jesus, because Lazarus was a friend of Jesus. Anyone who is closer to Jesus, uh, Jesus will not admit to be buried alive. Jesus will not admit that that person should be buried alive. When your time is not yet, don't admit to be buried alive. A lot of people, a lot of Christians, a lot of gifts, they have been buried alive. Wake up, open your mind. Do not admit to be buried alive. Do not admit to be buried alive. Disagree to be buried alive. Jesus died for you so that you may not be buried alive. The Bible said that, let the witch say I'm strong, meaning uh, even the dead should say that we are alive. You are in the point of death. You are in coma. Just say that I'm alive. Don't admit to be buried alive, my brother.